So the first part of our date last night, we weren't really getting off on the right foot. Like I'd ask it a question and it wasn't quite the answer I was looking for. And I was like, you know what? I don't, I don't think this is gonna work out. I think we're gonna have to end the date early. And just when I thought that, I finally found something we can connect on and there's hope. We're going on a second date. You and this guy? Yeah. Ooh, are you gonna work with him all day? I think I'm gonna try. That's awesome. I, go. so far, am in love with that saw. Look at these beauties. These were made last night by Alyssa, cut to length. So today, I'm assuming this morning, we wanna keep working on uh, cutting to length, and then that'll free up all these saw horses, right? Then we can start to, can oh wait. workstations. We forgot to cut that guy to length. We just wanted to preserve some goodness for today. Yeah. So yeah, we'll work on cutting this one to length. They'll give you lots more practice behind yes. the circular saw. Oh yeah. And there's daylight so you can see what you're doing. I hope that before I have to leave today for my first flight lesson of in nine months. Nine months? I thought it was nine 12 months. Nine months. Actually, I looked at my receipts and I have one in June. Okay. That was my last ditch effort before the house built started. Right? <laughs> house built started. <laughs> so hopefully before I have to leave for my flight lesson today, I can cut one tenon. So if we can cut one of these, I want to cut one tenon. Actually, wait. Those. No, it's those. It's those. We're good. Cool. So you can work on that and I can work on cutting. Yay, I want to work on a tenon. And when you're gone, we'll see how far you can get. Oh yeah, and you're going to keep powering away while I'm out You're going to leave me around. here with a chisel. I'll try to fly over. You should. I'll try to you do it. You totally an, should. I'll try I'll to do an engine failure. Do it. <laughs> over the house. You should. Okay, sounds good. My understanding is the FAA really frowns upon low passes. Oh, do they? So <laughs> Otherwise everyone would do it, right? Right, they'd be like, hey, let's go buzz Joe's house. Hey, let's go buzz Bill's house. Like, it's a, definitely- a Because everyone had my idea, right? Oh, we should go do this to this person. Yeah, because it's fun to like, try to touch the top of the trees with your landing gear. Yeah. Ill-advised. I could, I could see that. highly frowned upon, even in this remote region. It's highly discouraged. I see we are well set up with coffee and water. Couldn't find a pencil yesterday. Turns out most of them were either in my pants pocket or in our hidden pencil reserve. Oh yeah. All my tools are right where I left them. Bring out the beauties. <sighs> Tell me that square isn't working fantastic. It is. I think you should help me restore my great great grandpa's square. Yeah. That would be even. I was more. worried. Yeah, I was worried when I worked on that. I know that I was too aggressive with the wire brush and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I was worried it would be illegible and wouldn't work. It's totally legible. I think it's great. I mean, I'm sure there are people that do this for a living and have done it for 30 years. And Well, it was my first <laughs> restoration and I, I did kind of a... I think it looks great. I did a good job. That's I wouldn't say it was a That's all you can ask for is that it looks yeah. better than what you started with. Well, and it's still usable. That was really what I wanted. I didn't want to hang it on the wall. I'm I pretty sure to... your grandpa would rather have some extra scuff marks on this, but know that it's being used <laughs> instead of like True. donate it because, and then let someone else refurbish it or whatever. Yeah. Probably not do as good of a job. I think my grandpa was the kind of person who liked things that were used, not, not used for decorations. We opened this one yesterday and I'm pretty sure that between Alyssa and I, this poor saw couldn't get a break. We were both reaching for it. I thought it was a lot heavier um, I don't know why the weight of it says it's 12 pounds including the batteries But I have to say that the worm drive feel the overall design of the saw, you know, like the original um, Mag 77s it just feels great and it's very easy to cut accurately Probably because of the length of the handle from the blade you get a really clean cut Versus having the handle up here near the blade like on so many circular saws. One of the things I loved about our Milwaukee is that the new Milwaukee batteries have the fuel gauge on the battery. And we have a lot of older Makita batteries. They don't have that. But this saw actually includes a fuel gauge on the saw. So that's kind of helpful. Shows the status of your batteries. With so many things, it feels like the first day is a little rough. But also, we're still very much learning you know these framing skills. And I see Alyssa's like just hearty at it. Alyssa's so much like the workshop in Maine. Remember the first day? We were like blubbering, bumbling idiots trying to figure out how to make a square cut. But then did you notice on day two and day three how people just walked in, grabbed their yeah. tools, went over, started marking and cutting? I think even on like five year of this house build or whatever, if it takes us that long, yep. I will still have frustration on the first day of a project. Well, and the scope of this project is so big that you do a project for what, three to five days and then you never do it again. Or you do it again in a year and you forgot yeah. because you only did it for three to five days. Exactly. Yeah. The, the scope of the job is so long that you don't get like, when are we going to do concrete again? It's going to be a while. Yeah. We're going to be really rusty at it. Wow. 
Thank you. Not quite done. Darn it. Almost got it done. Yep. See, I gotta tidy up that mortise, and then this piece is done. I mean, it needs to be planed to get rid of my marks, but not a bad morning. A couple hours, is that about right? Yeah, that's probably longer than that. Two and a half hours, maybe. I'm rocking and rolling on probably my best tenon yet. Yeah. Having the yeah. inch and a half uh, chisel helps. Oh, does it? Okay. You can see the dark spots here, my high spots that I still need to remove, but I'm pretty happy with that, so. We'll see what I can get done in your absence. Oh, what do we got going on here? Yesterday afternoon, a couple of hawks landed in a tree across the way. And uh, we tried to get the zoom lens out, but they're just too fast and they end up flying away. But they're back, same tree, same hawks. So Alyssa's on it with the monster lens and the monopod. Here's hoping she gets something really good. In fact, if I, if I didn't know better, I would think baby hawks were being made Oh, this is deadly. Don't mess with Lissa. Unfortunately, he's backlit. There was another hawk that, oh, he flew away. There was a second hawk there and it flew away. Oh, I saw. And I, Which and one do you think stuck around, the guy or the girl? I don't know. Bye. Have fun. You too. Okay, I'll see you soon.
I hear an airplane, maybe it's Jesse. False call. I don't know where he went. Hey, there he is. Wow, what a day to fly, huh? That's what I got done with Jesse away. This was a little bit more challenging than I thought it would be. When it came to taking away this material here, I was sort of drawing a blank, so I had to stretch my mind to think about what order to do things in and what tools I had to get the job done with as little labor as possible. But in the end, it's just a roof brace, so I think it'll be just fine. You made it back. That's, my, my instructor said, I don't even know why they put takeoffs in the log book. They should just put landings. Like, well, how else are you gonna land if you don't take off? Makes sense. This is from a guy who's got like 33,000 hours. He's like, I don't, I've never put a takeoff one in my log book, never. I wish I got more done, but I didn't. I think you did good. My Considering shoulder's so tired. Oof. That was a lot of, it's a lot of work. Did you work too hard? That's typical uh, on the first one. I probably did. Yeah, looks good. I probably good. did, but okay. I'm pretty happy with it. So mm -hmm. I just laid out my mortise here. So now I'm gonna hog oh, it out oh. with the chain mortiser. Yeah, I'm hoping I and can finish mine up. It'd be awesome if we could finish another one tonight, but I don't know, maybe well, it's too one of these. something. Well, I think what we could do is kind of get in a, in a rhythm where somebody's kind of doing like all the, the rough cutting and everything, and then somebody right. else is doing a lot of the finishing. Cause yeah. it took me, as long to do the cutting and, and laying out and all mm -hmm. that stuff as it did to do the finishing, really. Hmm. So if one person's doing one, the other person can do the other. Yep. Maybe, I don't know. We'll, I think we'll find there's a learning curve for me on this, but well, glad you're back. About the time that we get good at it, we'll be all done. Exactly. Just like everything else. Yeah, so my instructor is good and I get to fly again next week. Sweet. So. Pretty exciting. Jesse's entertaining getting his private license this year. He has one more year to get it before he has to take ground school again. I don't think that'd be a big deal. I mean, it's just, a, it's a good refresher of information, but why not this year? In theory, we wanna to try to balance building the house and life mm -hmm. from here on out. So I think flying would be a great way to do that. Well, and at the moment, there's actually a really big demand for pilots. I'm not of obviously anywhere near hireable, not even close, but there's just a shortage of pilots overall. So it's a great, you know, career if we want to go that way, which will allow us to live more remotely. We haven't figured that out yet, but if I don't have the license, then there's no point in talking about being a pilot. So if I can get through the private and I feel still feel good about it, it's a good place to be. I love building a house. I like shooting videos. It's all fun and great, but I'm, I don't see us doing this for the next 40 years. No. You know what I mean? So we're going to have to find a career that we both enjoy or I enjoy that allows us to live where we want to live and have a family and do all those things. So there are certainly more dirty occupations. Yeah, there. You could be a plumber. <laughs> Good. Wait. You already tried your hand at that. It'd be a long time before someone would hire you. Well, timber framers out, concrete guys out, <laughs> plumbers out. Maybe so there's go, going through the list until someone's like, "You're pretty good at that." Maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe there's still a chance for a pilot. I haven't crashed yet. Here's the first mortise I've hogged out all by myself. So much work. I have sawdust in places I didn't even know existed, but I think I did a pretty good job. Definitely, uh, it's a learning curve. Mostly figuring out how few times you can move the chain mortiser. And you can't forget to clean out the bottom. 
And notice a pattern. When we don't work, our clothes don't get dirty and we wash our clothes because it's more of a good idea to wash, you know, your shirt once a week. But look how filthy that is. I'm covered in filth. There's just a really fine dust over everything. Like look at this uh, framing square here. What I do is I usually come in this side okay. and then this side, this side and that side. Yeah. Do you think this will fit? Are you gonna try? Yeah. Ah! Don't break the tenon off. <laughs> right? Oh, she's too tight. Really? Oh. Are you sure? Oh. No, you just. Oh. Oh. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Woo! Would you look at that? Not bad. How's it fit? Oh. Wow. Oof. Boy, oh boy. Let her cut that to length. Man, they did a good job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Because I, it feels like the knee brace location, I don't know. We should measure that. I feel like the knee brace doesn't look like it's 45. This is 18 and 5 eighths. Oh my gosh, it's 18 and 5 eighths. Wow. Shut the front door. Ethan, if you're watching this, it's not because I didn't trust you. It just didn't look right to my eye. But isn't that common? That's why we're following your plans. Because. Huh? If 90, we do the thinking, oh, if we do the thinking, huh? What? As I say, 90% of our videos start with Ethan. It's not that we didn't trust <laughs> you, but. No, we trust Ethan. That's why we're following his plans. But there's still that moment where you're like, Ethan. I don't think Ethan's ever been wrong, but we're still like, man, that doesn't oh, look Oh, there's more than once where we're like, oh, Ethan, and we go back and it's just us. <laughs> man, guys, it's so tempting to just go get some brace material and start working on a brace so we could put this hog together. I think it would help us mentally envision what this is gonna look like. Oh, it's so tempting, isn't it? I think it's worth it. Right? You can see your breath already. Well, we each did a mortise and a tenon. Well, and you cut everything to length, and I got an hour in an airplane. Pretty productive but day. I think we did pretty good. Life's so busy. We're trying to get busy. a lot of work done between life. We've got plans this weekend, we've got visitors coming, but we also want to get work done, but we have a household to run, so. Sometimes we have to know when to quit early, and this has become our motto lately, and it's working. I'll just say that. Quitting while we're ahead, instead of grinding it out. Like, we have lights, yeah. we have a generator, we could keep working, but if we quit now, get something to eat, we can get these fine folks a video, which they'll greatly appreciate. I think the quit while we're ahead thing, we'll have to see over time how it plays out for us. Yeah. I think maybe next year we'll be able to say like, oh yeah, that overall the year was better. Or yeah. worse, we didn't get as much done. Well, <laughs> we're both type A's and we want to get as much done as we humanly possibly can. But last year we hit burnout. We did it. We actually did it full on. So let's try a different way this year. Let's try working and having fun and smiling and giggling and taking time to appreciate each other's progress. And yep. Let's try that for a little while. Speaking of appreciating progress, check that baby up. It's pretty good. Ooh. I'm pretty happy with that. That's actually a pretty big mortise, it's but huge. the chain mortiser helped a ton. I can't Ooh, imagine that. That would take all day. Yeah. Hogging that up. Yeah, it's and it so flattens bad. the bottom, so you don't even have to do that. You just got to get the corners and get the sides. Yep. Amazing how much work it is to take maybe an eighth of an inch off of four corners. Yeah, it is. But when you do it right and follow the rules. That's this happens. I look forward to getting a brace cut and put in there. That'll be really satisfying. We were going to try to do that tonight, but we realized that it's just time to shut it down. Yeah. We'll uh, see you guys when we pick this up next. Bye bye. Bye. Wave bye. Wave bye, Bugaboo. Oh, he's sleeping. The end. They get blown downwind and try to come wings level as we cross the section line. All right, nobody could do it better. Let's go ahead and go back to the airport. Okay, very good. You can find it. I think I, I think I know where it is. <laughs> Swing by the burger joint first. Uh, 
Let me grab some altitude here. 